I was on eBay, looking for a cheap copy of a SpongeBob Season 5 DVD set, since I happen to like that season. It has some good episodes like, 20,000 Patties Under the Sea, Black and Sponge, and the original Fry Cook, just to name a few. After what seemed like forever, I finally stumbled across a set that was fairly cheap, and it didn't matter if the seller is from Hong Kong. The set's quality, according to the pictures provided, was pretty fair. I added it to my cart as quickly as I could, since I didn't want to lose a good deal like this. Flash forward to a couple of weeks later, the set came in a small withered box. I opened the box and pulled out the set. To my dismay, it was a blank DVD case with two discs lazily crammed inside. I knew the price was too good to be true. The discs were plain white with a sticker reading, Disc 1, and Disc 2, for the other one. I made my way to the DVD player and put in Disc 1 in. It had a normal menu, seemingly someone had ripped this from the original disc. I sat down and proceeded to watch all the episodes. After hours of sitting on my couch, I finally made it to the last episode, but something was wrong. Instead of Swoobog What Pants it was titled Finale. I don't remember ever hearing about this episode. I think I might have missed it or something, I assured myself. I clicked on the episode and the traditional Spongebob intro played. The opening title credits were strange. It was just white text in a black background, written by Steven Hillenburg and Andrew Skinner. I've heard of Steven Hillenburg, but I didn't know who the hell this Andrew Skinner guy was. Again, I brushed it off figuring it might be a new animator or something. The title card read, Everything Ends. The episode started with a black screen. There was nothing but pure silence in the air. Not even any feedback from the speakers. At first I thought that the television stopped working, but as I got up to check, a poorly drawn Squidward with red I stood there. A slight static noise could be heard. He seemed to be standing outside, since there the background was of a dark sunset. A deep voice started to become audible. It repeated. Do you know that this is the end? Multiple times. Poor quality audio clips of screaming started to play in strange intervals. The shot remained here for a couple of minutes with the deep voice repeating the same phrase over and over again. The shot then goes to a different model of Squidward. He was missing his eyes and blood seemed to be dripping out of his empty sockets. The voice now said, You know that everyone dies. Repeating it multiple times. The static noise became louder and then all sound abruptly stopped. It was silent. Now it's your turn. The voice shouted. The sound was unbearable. There were screams mixed in with menacing laughter. It then cut to a video of a dead child. He was covered in blood and he was missing his leg. The cameraman walked around the corpse very slowly as he zoomed into the child's face. Then it abruptly cut to the credits and the only person listed was Andrew Skinner. The music was absent here. Then it jumped back to the main menu. I was honestly scared out of my mind. I was paranoid that someone was gonna come and try to murder me. I locked all my doors and grabbed my laptop to look up more info in this episode. I managed to find someone who was on Reddit, he told me. Andrew Skinner is an animator from Scotland, made the episode entirely by himself, he was trying to air the episode on Lyft TV, but they caught him. He's also the one who created Squidward Suicide back in 2004 over 2005. Maybe the person you bought the set from added this episode in, thinking it was a just normal episode. The child in the episode was one of his many victims, I think he's in jail now though. So you had nothing to worry about someone trying to kill you. I wish you well, guy.